mm. up first this evening. Uh, the bill to facilitate the compulsory acquisition of the Petrojam shares owned by Venezuela was passed in the Senate this afternoon, but not before heated exchanges between government and opposition senators. Both sides squared off on a number of issues, but more so after the government's truthfulness on the Petrojam saga was questioned. Our reporter Herman Green was in the Senate earlier today and filed this primetime news report. Following their leader, government senators had one mission in mind at Friday's sitting, not only to table the compulsory acquisition of the shares held in Petrojam bill, but to pass it as well. Opposition senators, upset with the suggestion, eventually walked out of the sitting. Everybody walk out. Oh, they walk out. The walkout happened almost two hours after the sitting started. This is what led up to it. Leader of government business, Senator Kamina Johnson-Smith, tabled a motion to have the bill debated and voted on, but for opposition senators, that suggestion was an insult to the Senate. We are the review chamber of the parliament, Mr. President, and so we cannot afford to be treating the parliament with such contempt. It cannot work. This bill following on Jerusalem vote could be the straw that breaks the camel back. Jamaica being that camel with our great reputation for honesty and fair play. If it is that the government regards this bill as important, give the senators a chance to be able to contribute. Despite the objections, the motion was passed. In making her arguments, Senator Johnson Smith first argued that Contrary to the opposition's view, the bill is not a sudden and hostile rush to take the 49% Petrojam stake from Venezuela. She stated that the unfulfilled upgrade promise by Venezuela was a concern even for former Energy Minister Philip Powell. She pointed to a statement she says he made in 2013. And I quote, In relation to Petrojam, this is a project which is well delayed. If Petrojam is not upgraded and expanded, we will have to shut it down. It is as simple as that. This is six years ago. Philip Paulwell, six years ago. She reiterated that despite agreements and letters of intent between both governments, Venezuela failed to deliver. The recent challenges Petrojam faced in doing business with suppliers and banks were also highlighted as was the fact that the refinery is set to lose its biggest customer, the JPS, by January 2020. But after her presentation, it was this comment from opposition Senator Damian Crawford which sent tempers flying. Mr. President, very little truth has been spoken here today. Yeah. On a point of order. On a point of order. <laughs> Mr. No, 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 no. Mr. President. He should withdraw that no. statement no. on a point of order, no. unless he's referring, referring to his no. colleagues. Mr. President, if she doesn't withdraw that unparliamentary statement, she's going to have to meet without me. If she call us liars, if she call us liars, and can't and doesn't have the courage and the decency to withdraw it. Senator, I did a point not of order. Anyway, look here. A point of order. Listen to me, listen to the ruling here now. I recognize exactly what is happening. Senator Crawford, continue. Everybody walk out. All they walk out. What has happened is a very sad moment for the function of the democracy and the Senate. Although there is a dramatic intent, the business of the country must continue. The bill was subsequently voted on by government senators alone and passed without amendment. Herman Green, TVJ News.